And this evening, messages and letters were sent into WDHN surrounding a viral video that was posted from inside a state prison. Ileana Capian joins us live from the newsroom to tell us more about the distress surrounding Alabama jails. Ileana, good evening. Good evening, Paige. The video filmed at Bullock Correctional Facility in Union Springs has raised many concerns about the overpopulation and inhumane living conditions prisoners are facing. I sat down with a family member and a state representative to hear their take on the situation. I am just the voice of the voiceless. When a family member goes in, you go in there with them. So from the time that my family member has been in, I have been doing time right along with it. I would like for someone else to see and hear what I see in here. Butler has recently been worried about the health and safety of her family members in Bullock after a right video now, circulating showing the conditions of the jail, for, uh, not to mention the COVID-19 outbreaks in her loved ones dorm. The video right reveals the rundown conditions of Bullock and the lack of social distancing and quarantine procedures. The general fund budget for the state is responsible for budgeting the Department of Corrections. Representative Klaus acknowledges the neglect in these facilities. It's a dire situation right now. It has been for, for many, many years, and we're not uh, different than a lot of other states dealing with corrections and um, one of the main reasons is is that um, there's just not a will uh, amongst the population to to fund prisons the way they, they should be funded. Klaus says most people prefer tax dollars to go towards education, roads, and bridges. At the end of the day, you know, we have to fund prisons for our public safety. We have to fund Medicaid. We have to fund mental health. Uh, they're not the sexy parts of the budget, but it's things that, that need to be funded. And when it comes to COVID-19 precautions, Klaus recognizes the dilemma caused by the overpopulation in prisons. It's very difficult to social distance, uh, particularly when we have the overcrowded uh, situations that we have in, in our, our prison system. Butler says there is a solution, but granting parole has been an ongoing issue since before the pandemic. You do need to let some of these people go. And I can't even imagine how they even sleeping at night to know that COVID-19 is in the prisons. Representative Klaus says the issue surrounding state prisons, parole, and overpopulation all comes down to inadequate funding. He also mentioned that jails are using CARES Act to test inmates for COVID-19.